Hello everyone, I'm Norm Duke and I am here at the Storm Plant in Brigham City, Utah. I tell you what, it's one of my favorite things to do. There's so much stuff here. When you walk through this, this manufacturing facility, there is literally bowling balls everywhere. And if you're a bowler, it's about the best sight you can ask it's for, It's like right? Disneyland. Yeah, it is. So tell me, Supernova. This guy. Why Supernova? The supernova is a powerful and luminous explosion of a star. Like you, you're a star. And we exploded at a young age. Nah, right? well. Now we're kind of petering out. So Norm, you were very young when you exploded onto the PBA. 18, right? I was, yeah, 17 when I first started, but 18 is when, when I joined. When you won your first title. Yeah, when 18. you were 18 years old. Mm. That's you were amazing. 19. You kind of know what I went through then. I know. Did you ever think that your career, did you ever think then that your career would be where it is ended up now? At a very early age, Leanne, yes. Dreams. Uh, dreams. And you thought, man, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to beat Earl Anthony to death and I'm going to this and that. And you really believed it. And I thought to myself, I will be a pro bowler for the rest of my life. And then the, my first game on television was against Earl Anthony, and I won, and I thought, oh, yeah, this is just as planned. But then my, uh, my star kind of blew out for about seven or eight years, and, and reality hit where I was a, an eight-year pro with one title. And so, yeah, I didn't at that point think that my career would be 40 years long. Wait, you won your first title and then you didn't win your second one for eight more years? It was eight years really? later. Really? Yes. Did you guys know that? I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, those were the most somber eight years of my life because I was traveling with some of the greatest names in bowling. I had Voss and Weber and, and they were signing autographs galore everywhere. And I was just like, uh, can I get you a cup of coffee? <laughs> you know, something. And nobody knew me, nobody cared. Uh, but then I got it. I got it. I mean, you know, probably just like you, we had to figure out what it was that- So you uh, were learning every year. Oh yeah, I was building- Figuring it out. I had to build it. Yeah. I didn't have anything that no one else could do. I couldn't dunk a basketball like you know LeBron. I couldn't hit it over a fence and I couldn't get 400 or 500 revs on it. So I had to figure out versatility and make my own way that way. And that is not something that you just do overnight, folks. You've got to learn what it is that you're missing and then, you have to rededicate yourself uh, to obtain some of those skills that will last the test of time. And agreed. Agreed, yeah. Now, when, how long was it before uh, your second title, after your first? Did you win the next week? I mean, did you back to back um, out of the game? I did. I won three titles one summer. I won in Algonquin, Illinois, Fresno, California, and Saginaw, Michigan. And all while you were 19? In July and August, yeah. While you were in your That was teens. my rookie year. Wow. Yeah. Uh, can you sign my shoe? <laughs> but then, you know, you have that up and down and stuff. And uh, my down year was when we, the short oil year. Was oh, like I remember 94 that. 94 maybe or whatever. Yeah, that's 90. when I caught fire. <laughs> It was an adjustment, boy. It was like it was free hook for me. Now her nickname is Boomer. That's because she had all these revs and everything. So short oil for her would have been a little more I did of a not task. Like it. For me, it was right up my alley. Hmm. But yeah, ninety four is kind of when I when I caught fire. So Norm, you and I have been around a long time. <laughs> yes. I mean, we could tell the truth, right? We've been around a long time. Um, you know who else has been around a long time? Who? Storm. You're right. You're absolutely right. And you've been with them a long time. Yeah. They've been around for about as long as I can remember. I mean, even when you and I were not on the Storm staff mm -hmm. early years, uh, Bill and Barbara were everywhere. They were always at our tournaments. Barbara especially would come to the ladies' tournaments that she said the ladies were always her favorite. Um, uh, and I've always been a fan of mm -hmm. them for that. Right. And, you know, I started out as competitor with Storm, uh, with uh, Champions and, and Power Play. And Bill and uh, Barbara were always at the trade shows. And I told Bill one day, I said, I'm going to be a storm staffer. And he said, you know, I believe you. And it was a, a good 10 years later that I chose storm. That was what most people wouldn't know is that when it came time for me to choose a life brand, 
I chose a storm. I called them here and said, I want to be a staffer with you. And it took a little while, honestly, because they're so uh, committed to their current staff. They told me, Norm, we just don't have room for you right now. And I went, what do you mean? <laughs> but uh, eventually it happened. It wasn't, you know, too long a wait. And I've been here ever since, and I'm not going anywhere. I love Storm. A few titles later. Yeah, a few. A few. More than a few. Yeah. So how did you get hooked up with Storm? Well, I was lucky because I got a job here, and it was already, um, you know, the tour had, our original tour had ended, so I needed a job, right? Mm -hmm. So I had decided in my career that I wanted to give back to the sport that had been so good to me, uh -huh. you know, because you reflect and stuff, and you are grateful for what you do. And so having a job here lets me do that. So it it's does. easy, right? So I have a a job that lets me give back to the sport of bowling, so pretty good choice. Great, so when they make this brand new ball, do they run it by you first? Because I would, I'd say, ah, bring Leanne in here, let's see if this thing has no, wheels. No, sometimes we get to do the fragrance test. That's a cool job. Oh. Yeah. Norm, do you ever think about how many bowling balls Storm makes? <laughs> well, I see them when I walk into the plant and I can't even imagine. And Over the years, Crazy. I mean, there's a full line of bowling balls, not just for the pros like you and Jason or Kelly and Liz. We have bowling balls for everybody. Well, we have to. Listen, in bowling, to knock 10 pins down, you need power. To have power, you need a hook. And not everybody can get a hook just with uh, a follow through. So we make bowling balls that everyone can go play the same condition with. So if you are like me, maybe a little bit rev, uh, 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 trouble getting revs nowadays, we make a bowling ball that'll get a hook for you. And if you are, let's say, Jason, you mentioned him, with 500 rev rate, yes, we make bowling balls for him too. So if you're a bowler, it doesn't matter what level, we got you. We got you covered, the Bowler's Company.